good morning everyone uh, so on occasion of our presentation season uh, today i'm going to the, um, deal with my presentation and uh, the topic of my presentation is concept of bad faith in waiting for god this is my uh, personal information those are some points which i am going to uh, uh, discuss in my uh, presentation uh, i am going to discuss about uh, about the author then introduction of the play then uh, what is bad faith and satre uh, on bad faith then uh, uh, going to discuss a uh, concept of bad faith in waiting for god and at the end uh, conclusion so uh, i would like to um, start my presentation with uh, about the author uh, samuel beckett uh, samuel beckett was author critic and playwright uh, winner of the nobel prize for literature in 1969 he wrote in both uh, french and english and uh, is um, perhaps best known for his plays especially an uh, attendant godot Uh, Samuel Beckett uh, was the uh, last uh, modernist writer, and he is leading uh, figure in uh, theatre of absurd. And uh, his uh, literary his literary works um, uh, deals with uh, tragic comedy, experience of life, then um, uh, uselessness and uh, black comedy. Uh, Samuel Beckett came from a Protestant Anglo-Irish background at the age of 40 um, he went to the Portora Royal School in what became Northern Ireland a school that um, catered to the Anglo-Irish middle classes from 1923 to 1927 he studied uh, romance lang uh, romance uh, romance languages at Trinity College, uh, Dublin, where he received his bachelor's degree. After a brief spell of teaching in uh, Belfast, he became a reader in English at the Ecole Normale uh, Supérieure in Paris in uh, 1928. Then, introduction of the play. Samuel Beckett's uh, Waiting for Godard is a play about two trams with the uh, Uh, rather exotic names of Vladimir and Estragon. They stand beside the road near a tree, which is dead in Act One, and they wait there for God. They are not certain whether they are at the right place or that this is the right day, nor are they sure whether God is coming or what they asked him for or whether they have. his name right but they wait there is just uh, one set if we may use the name set for that rock and that uh, uh, emaciated looking tree which are the only points of reference in the empty extent of sense so this is a play this play is uh, um, uh, 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 around them um, Uh, two character mainly two characters vladimir and estragon they are um, uh, they are continuous waiting for god or they, uh, they don't know about uh, if he is uh, came he is came or not but they but they um, um, uselessly and uh, without any purpose they are just waiting for god uh, what is bad faith in sartre's uh, sartre's on bad faith leslie stevenson has made a careful attempt to formulate the uh, sartrean notion of bad faith according to stevenson someone in bad faith um, is she reflecting denies some state of affairs of the truth of which she is pre uh, reflectively aware and Uh, Jeffrey uh, Jeffrey Gordon has uh, countered with the criticism although Stevenson's analysis of Sartre is correct it is a position which is philosophically indefinite indefinite uh, uh, Jeffrey 
Gordon has described bad faith as a lie to oneself. Then, Satre on bad faith. For Satre, bad faith is not a case of a person being mistaken. Rather, it is more to do with falsehood. Uh, Satre believes that an individual who is bad faith is being false to themselves and that at some level they realize this. Therefore, the individual not only knows that they are in bad faith but intentionally acts in this way. To understand Sartre's concept of bad faith, we must look at his view on the self and freedom. Uh, Sartre believes that exi existence uh, precedes uh, essence and that fundamentally we are nothingness. What Sartre means by uh, means by this is that we are not uh, concrete uh, selves in the same way that objects are uh, Sartre's uh, objects are Sartre believes that as human beings we are obliged to create and uh, recreate ourselves through our interactions with the world and others. Then. This, uh, this obligation is due to the freedom of having no fixed self and being able to be with uh, whatever we choose. This freedom to choose our self result in anguish and it is this uh, anguish in a turn, turn which reveals our freedom. Uh, there, are, there are two modes of bad faith for Satram. The first is uh, whether a person denies his or her freedom and acts acts if they are a thing or an object and the second is the second mode of uh, the second mode where a person misinterpret the in, uh, evidence presented and uh, does not draw the implied conclusion then the concept of bad faith in waiting for God. Uh, in uh, in this play, uh, there are two uh, main character, there are two characters, Vladimir and Estragon. They are uh, uh, they are an uh, uh, example of, of existentialism uh, concept of bad faith. Uh, they uh, they are continuous uh, waiting for God. Uh, they they are uh, uh, they experience uh, meaninglessness and you uh, they are uh, useless and uh, they are uh, waiting uh, for uh, God uh, without any purpose. Uh, in Beckett's play, the uh, events become both paradoxical and uh, deceiving as the two protagonists try to give meaning to their lives. Their are multiple uh, conversation, uh, conversations about death are serious at times and hilarious at other as they try to hang themselves. Uh, then the pants of Estragon fall down, uh, causing them to burst into love. Death is presented as their bad faith after they realize that there will uh, be no God coming for them. Uh, in this play, Estragon uh, wants to live, uh, live his life, but he cannot because um, uh, he, he had he uh, had to wait with uh, uh, Vladimir for God. On other side, Vladimir uh, Vladimir just just want to waiting for God because the uh, because um, he was uh, necessarily wanted to do that. Then the belief in this bad faith and the hopes uh, the two characters build build around it uh, leads to a ridiculous situation that is ir irrational and deceivingly funny that is uh, displayed displaced from its uh, meaning as an end of life and turn into an end of struggle uh, particularly that of finding the meaning of life the ridiculous ridiculousness of the situation appears in the fact that death becomes a hope in uh, itself rather than a pain uh, to uh, conclude uh, we could say uh, we can say that Vladimir and Estragon, the two characters, are continue, continuously waiting for God. They have bad faith that one day 
uh, he will come and he will give, give him a better life but nothing will happen uh, 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 and uh, the death is presented as their bad faith after they realize that there will be no god coming for them uh, these are these are my work cited thank you and uh, now i am uh, open for question so anyone have question you can ask Now my question is that justify how Vladimir and Estragon have verified in waiting for God. Uh, in this play, uh, waiting for God by Samuel Beckett, uh, Vladimir and Estragon uh, they are uh, they are uh, representing as a exist existentialism uh, concept of uh, of bad faith. They uh, they are in the entire play we, 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 uh, we know that they are just uh, waiting for god uh, they don't uh, don't know about um, more about, uh, about god but they just want to wait for him because they believe that uh, he he make he he, he can make um, uh, make and he can give them a better life Ina, my question is that what is uh, represented by the concept of bad faith in waiting for God? Uh, in uh, in this play, bad faith. Uh, in this play, uh, Estragon and Vladimir uh, they are um, uh, blind, blindly waiting for God. Uh, they uh, they um, are doing uh, useless and meaningless things uh, in entire play. Uh, uh, we know that bad faith is the bad faith is uh, something that uh, we have um, um, uh, we do, don't know about more, more that thing, but uh, we just blindly rely on that. Uh, so uh, in this play, Vladimir and Estragon just blindly waiting for God because they. Uh, because they thought that uh, God is uh, uh, God for them, and he, he gave him a, a better future and um, uh, something that uh, he something that they wants. Thank you. <laughs>